Hello and welcome to my channel Crying Fly. My name is Steve and in this video today I would like to show you now how you can install the plugin Octoprint for Autodesk Fusion 360 on your Linux system. So now you can see here I'm here on my GitHub channel Crying Fly, especially here in my project Fusion 360 Linux Wine version. Here especially in my folder Octoprint, where you can see this uh, instructions here. What I have showed you in my last videos. Here this step-by-step -step manual. And when I scroll down, then you can see also now uh, this section here where I give you a way to install the Octoprint server on an old computer or on a Raspberry Pi. Yes, it's true. Um, with this uh, comment here or with my installation script you can install the Octoprint server on your system. So I think it's a very good idea to renew your old computer so that um, this computer has a new task and I think it's very cool so and another thing is um, yes when you have a Raspberry Pi a Raspberry Pi a 3 plus or maybe a Raspberry Pi 4 um, then it's so then you can also use um, this specially image here from the website octoprint.org when you scroll down to this button uh, to this section here download then we come to this site here where you get more information about here this uh, octoprint and when I scroll down to this one here stable then you can see here the current version of Octoprint and this version is here 0.18.0 and here you can see the strongly requirement um, yes with Raspberry Pi um, uh, 0, 0 re, um, P 3B 3P plus or 4B okay but in my opinion it's better when you use um, the 3B plus or here the 4B okay so you get uh, a better performance and a better stable system um, for your managing the 3D printers okay and here you have also the development builds yes okay and here the manual for Linux, Windows and Mac and when I scroll up here to this one then you can see this one here the Raspberry Pi Imager. This tool is very very good for you when you will um, use um, the Wi-Fi connection with your Raspberry Pi maybe then is this um, tool you very good for you okay because when you use this image here, maybe for your Raspberry Pi, then it's so that you must configuring some files um, after um, after uploading this image on the SD card, okay? And with this tool here, it's easier for you to configuring these things here, okay? Or um, when you have uh, an old computer maybe a notebook or netbook or so and you will like to use this um, old um, device then you can install also on this device this Raspberry Pi OS maybe or um, Ubuntu or Linux Mint and then um, you can also use this script here for um, install the Octoprint server, okay? Um, yes, so but when you have a new uh, Raspberry Pi maybe then you can use this 
specially image here, okay? And for all users, they will use uh, an old computer maybe or um, have already installed maybe here this Raspberry Pi OS on the Raspberry Pi. Then, yes, use this script here, okay? But it's very important here um, that you can only use my script when you have a Debian based Linux distribution, okay? This is very important at the moment and yes, but I think I will uh, change my script in the next time so that you can use the script also on another Linux distributions, okay? So. But the first uh, one is here, we will install now this Octoprint plugin here for Autodesk Fusion 360. So you must, um, so you must downloading the installation file here from this website here, apps.autodesk.com. Here, then you can see this site here, and then you must import here uh, Octoprint. Okay, here, then we can see the results. And I click here on Octoprint for Autodesk Fusion 360 and then we are here and the next one is where we must log in with our account and then you are allowed it to downloading you know, the installation file of this plugin here, okay? A better way here to come to this um, plugin is when you um, scroll up here and click here on this link, okay? So and then you're also here on this side okay so when you have downloaded um, this installation file then we come to the next step um, where we must install this plugin with wine especially you can copy this comment here uh, but it's important that this comment here works only when you have installed the standard installation of Autodesk Fusion 360 with my installation script, okay? When you have another path here, then you must changing this one and then you can install this Octoprint plugin also on your um, specially installation, okay? So, um, by me it's so I have already downloaded this um, installation file and so I can co copy this comment here. So then I change to my last workspace here, open a new terminal, input this comment. So and here you have also um, yes, the options to change the path of um, your installation, okay? So, but for me it's okay. So, and yes, now you can see I have another um, welcome screen like this one here, install now, or here, view store terms and conditions, wait, here, this one here, view, ter uh, view store terms and conditions, or here, cancel, okay. By me it's so I have already installed um, this Octoprint plugin for me and this is the reason why we see this um, welcome screen here. We get um, two options or maybe three options. Cancel, okay, repair and, re uh, repair and reinstall or uninstall. And so you can also uninstall this plugin when it doesn't work for you or maybe you will um, have a newer version or yes or other things okay and we have here the options for repair and reinstall so i click maybe yet now here on repair and reinstall and it's success okay and the next one we have here the option for to get more information about um, this Octoprint plugins here, view documentation, and here for close 
uh, for closing this um, installation okay so I click here on close and it was and the next step where is um, we have the options to use this plugin in Autodesk Fusion 360 here on Linux okay but um, I will show you in the next step um, how we can install the Octoprint server here maybe in my uh, case it's so I will show you this one here in my virtual box here I have installed uh, the Raspberry Pi OS and here I will show you the installation of the Octoprint server with my installation script and when it's done then we can connecting with our Octoprint server um, over the program Autodesk Fusion 360 here on Linux okay so I have already opened here a terminal the next one is here I running this comment okay then we get here the information do you wish to install this on your Linux distribution yes or no yes installation of Octoprint server okay yes we will install this um, Octoprint server now and then we can see here some packages maybe here Python 3 setup tools or Python 3 dev or here Python 3 pipe and yes we must install these things here um, so that we can use later than Octo the Octoprint server okay I click here on yes and then my installation script um, downloading these files here and packages and install the Octoprint server for us okay so it takes a little time here and then we can see that the Octoprint server starts up uh, starts up for me okay so come on And here we can see now the Octoprint server starts up and where we can configuring our Octoprint server here in this virtual box. So um, I um, minimize this terminal here, opening a new terminal. Then I must um, look which um, IP address I have here in my virtual box. Okay, if config. And here is my IP address, okay, 192.168.122.10, okay. And now I have the options here to configuring my Octoprint server here over the web browser, maybe here. Or the better way is I change to my second workspace and then I must copy this IP address here in this box here, okay? So, um, 192.168. What was the next? Okay, come on. 122 and 16, or? What's uh, this right? No, 10. 10. Uh, 10. And then we must also add this one here 5000. And then I click on OK. And we can see this setup wizard here where we have some um, options to configuring our. Octoprint server, okay. So, but here it's now in German, okay. Sorry. Um, yes, okay. Here, thank you that you have installed here the Octoprint server, okay. So the next one is I click here on next. 
Then we have here the options where we can um, select a backup file um, of our um, Octoprint server, okay, here for uploading and so on, okay. So I click here on next. Then we must here configuring a user for this one. This is very important for us. I give this here a username Steve. My password is very hard, yes, very hard. Uh, okay, so then I create this account, okay. Login is success, okay. And we are logged it into our Octoprint server. The next one is here, we click on next. The next one is this one here, where we can configuring these things here but in my case it's okay and so I click here on activating this function okay and then I click here on next then we have this option here anonymous usage tracking configuration okay I activating this uh, function here and click on next then we come to this one here plugin blacklist or blacklist for plugins or so okay yes this one we can also configuring and yes I think this here is um, very important because we have so many um, plugins and extensions for this Octoprint server what we can install here um, for our uh, Octoprint server and yes we have some good plugins but on the other side it's also so that we have also some bad plugins. And so I think um, for all users they know what they must doing here when maybe the Octoprint server has some uh, problems after installing a um, plugin or other things. Um, they can also deactivate this blacklist here for plugins, okay? But better is when you activate here the blacklist for plugins and yes so I activating this one now and click on next and now we have here the options for configuring our uh, 3d printer so I can here give this a name maybe here printer X model okay it's okay then we can here configuring these things here okay here the axis hardened and extruder and here I think it's maybe very uh, good for you to know when you um, configuring here a wrong value then it's not so bad for you because um, the important uh, thing is that your G code of your 3D model is correctly okay and so it's very important that you know that your G code must be correctly configured with your 3D slicer okay then it's so that in this G code um, your 3D printer get all informations for the print okay for printing your models okay and this uh, configuration here maybe here the um, here for the axis or here for the hot end and so on it's only important for calculating maybe the time how long does print our 3d printer the model okay so I click now here on next then we come to this one here where we can configuring here Octoprint restart, system restart, system shutdown, okay. Um, I changed to my first um, workspace to, where is it, um, to this one here, to this post here where we get instruction here for installing here the octoprint server maybe here on a raspberry on the raspberry pi where is running the raspberry pi os okay 
and yes i have used this instruction here for creating my um where is it here for creating my installation script okay and i have found out that we can use this um, instruction here also when you have maybe installed Ubuntu or Debian or Linux Mint or yes important is that you use a Debian based Linux distribution okay and then we can also use this instruction here my installation script for installing here the Octoprint server later here on the system on our system okay so and this post here was created by the Gina Heuske and this is the project leader and also the creator and maintainer of Octoprint and yes she have created this project here for all users they will get a system where you can providing your 3d printers it's maybe here creality 3 pro or here the origin browser m key 3 and so on okay so and here um, thank you very much gina for your work and when you will also maybe support here um, the gina heuske um, then you can here click on where is it octoprint here support the project and then you can select one of these um, options here okay and then you can support the gina heuske um, for your uh, of, of your work okay so then we come to back to the configuration okay here this one and when I scroll down then you can see maybe um, where is it this section here support restart shutdowns through Octoprint system menu and yes here you can see this comments here and when I copy this one here to this one okay sudo shutdown okay here and this one for shut down the system and now we have configuring uh, configured these three things here octoprint restart system restart and system shutdown okay and then we have here in the menu bar the options to use these three things here okay so next then we can here configuring the webcam maybe and other things here also here optional webcam or here for webcam automatic startup and so on so i think it's very good for you when you're here um, reading these things here or maybe this post here from the gina heuske and yes so i click here on next and yes already it's done we are successed with the configuration here then i click on this button here and then we can see this um, window here we have here the pass for the temperature then this one here g-code viewer terminal and yes here the time yes okay then here on the left side for the connections serial port okay here this one baud rate and the printer profile here the printer x what we have uh, configured um, and uh, setup wizard and yes at the moment it's so that i have doesn't um, connected here my octoprint server with a 3d printer but it's not so um, not so important okay so the next one is where we can um, where we can configuring our octoprint plugin in in, the, in autodesk fusion 360 and so i go to my last workspace here and yes okay cancel clear 
and the next one okay clear and the next one is where I start my program here Autodesk Fusion 360 here on Linux okay so I running this now here okay and we can see here this uh, window here Autodesk Fusion 360 okay but then we must wait and then I think I load a 3D model or maybe I open a, a project of my of my here um, for my car also and then we go to the production workspace then we create a new setup and then we calculating this and creating a g-code and then we can uh, send this g-code to the octoprint server okay so now we are here and the next i will show you my version of autodesk fusion 360 here on linux here this version is um, 2.0.10.56 and 4 okay close and the next one is i go to my project maybe uh, maybe this one here yes okay this come on so then I hide the data panel and the next one is we change to the production workspace where is it uh, where's my production workspace oh, okay manufacturing workspace okay uh, manufactory and the next one is I click here on setup then we can see this um, window here on the right side where we can selecting here the operation type I have selected here uh, the, this one here for printing our model with a 3d printer here can you see also again the operation types okay and the next one is here I can select a machine here maybe the quality and the three select then we can see this um, yes displayed here okay then I click here on OK and then we get this window here um, yes okay no connections because we have um, doesn't connect it with our octoprint server now okay so i click here on close and we can see here also the octoprint plugin um, section here okay here for uh, configuring the octoprint server and here for the printer status this was this year and yes we have no connection okay close and the next one is I will create the g-code I click here on generate and we get here the third option here for send to this g-code to the octoprint server especially to uh, the 3d printer what we can selecting here later um, when we have configuring here to octoprint server in autodesk fusion 360 okay so the next one is i click here on machine settings and then we can see these two things here the url and the ape key so the url is this one here where is it here this one 192.168.122.10 uh, double point 5000 copy we change back to this section here input and then we need here the ape key and this one you can find here into the configuration of octoprint then you must change here to this one here AP and then we must copy this text here so 
then we can closing this here, change back to Autodesk Fusion 360 and input the APE key. And the next one is we can click here on OK and we have a connection to our Octoprint server. Here is the current version of the Octoprint server here, 1.6.1, OK. And when I click here on the printer status, then we can see here close it, OK, because um, yes, we doesn't running now at the moment here as 3D printing process and yes so I click here on close and the next one is I can click here on send to uh, FFF machine okay and we can see this profile here printer X this is the same profile like here here the printer profile printer X okay and when I click here on more details then we can see here the file name um, this is the uh, name when we send the G code to our octoprint server then is this the name okay and so it's very important for you that you give this G code another name okay maybe here a test print also okay then we can also select here a file here for the post configuration file um, or here another folder for output folder pass and so on. So, And then you can click here on OK. Then we see here uh, the process bar and the next uh, step where is um, does our um, Octoprint server um, printing our model. Okay. But now it's so that I doesn't have here a connection to a 3D printer, okay? So, the next one is I will show you also that you can here create a new printer profile and then you can selecting this new uh, 3D printer uh, profile here in Autodesk Fusion 360 in real time, okay? So I go back here to the configuration of my Octoprint server, um, click here on configuration or for settings, go to this tab here, printer profiles and create a new profile. So then I must give this a name, maybe this one here, printer and yes, okay, then I must Configuring here the model, maybe Creality and uh, 3, okay. And yes, I click here now on OK. And we have two printer profiles now here in our Octoprint server. So save. And now we can select here one of these. Um, printer profiles here um, in the web browser and when I come back to my Autodesk Fusion 360 here on Linux and click here on this button send the G code to uh, FFF machine then I can select this new printer profile here in Autodesk Fusion 360 here and can also click on OK or here change the file name and so on. So and now you can see that this Octoprint plugin here works very very good here on Linux and so you get also a way here to use um, or to connecting here to the Octoprint server and yes. So. Uh, the last information what I will give you here in my video is that you can use the Octoprint server also for your um, CNC machines here, especially for your um, milling machines or cutting machines when you 
install a specially plugin here on your Octoprint server. And this one I will show you here. Um, here is it. Better GRBL support. And with this plugin, you can also providing um, your um, here your CNC machines uh, here your mellings and cutting machines okay and this I think it's very cool or or what do you think so and so you um, have also uh, options here with Autodesk Fusion 360 and with Octoprint uh, with the Octoprint plugin and with the Octoprint server here on Linux to um, providing you 3D printers, your milling machines, uh, your CNC milling <laughs> machines, or the cutting C uh, or the CNC cutting machines or other things. Okay. So that was for today. And if you like it, my video, then was good. When you give me a thumb up, please. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel Crying Fly. And don't forget also to click on the little bell here so you don't miss any news in the future. Okay, goodbye and have a nice day.